Okay, guys, we're over with Field Peace, sixth annual symposium. Tony, appreciate you guys coming out here and helping us do this. It's always fun to have, and it's always good to have education in the trade. Absolutely. You've also got to uh, educate yourself. How did that go? Give it yeah, time. really good. Yeah, so I gave a talk on combustion analysis. You can break up training on combustion in like three different categories, right? One is, you know, what is the theory of combustion? Another one is, what is the application? Why is it important? And the other one is, well, how do I use my tool to actually do a combustion? And we're gonna talk about the application and we're gonna talk about how to use the tool to help perform that test easier, faster, better. I think what makes the, the symposium is the people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Venue plays a part, but the but the main thing is the people. Yeah. And it's just great to see all the wonderful people that, you know, we don't always see all the time and meet new people. Yeah. You know, it's good to have a lot of new faces here as far as the techs and contractors uh, that have come to the event. So you guys have so much stuff, so many cool things. What do you want to talk about? What do you want to tell us about? I mean, that's kind of hard for you to put me on the spot. What do you like out of everything? This, Art? it's cool. It's black. It looks like uh, something Batman would have. It does. So this baby's brand new. The techs here are gonna get this before even the hostel houses see it in person. Wow, that is so cool. So these techs are truly the first. This is the Flex X. It gives a nice way to put all your gauges in one uniformed area, and it's yeah. in a shockproof case. I mean, to be truthfully, this is one of the best things about anything Navac. Yeah, we're on grass, but you can drop whatever you have. It's been fantastic. Good. Yeah, seeing friends, <laughs> yep. seeing and being encouraged by the professionals who are here, yeah. who get it, yeah. who know what's required, or they don't know, and they're here to learn, yeah. and they are sponges, and they are among some of the best people who can guide them anywhere on earth. But you're dealing with people that value the standards that, that, and use it, and like, yeah. They value doing a good job, yeah. mm -hmm. and so some of them don't know the standards exist, and that's fine. I mean, we want them to know. But yeah. Here's an award. An again. It's good. Been a couple years since good job, Bert. We want to thank you for your years of service. <laughs> yes. We're in North Alabama, Central Alabama independent training company. We train hands-on HVAC all the way from basic refrigeration theory through probably intermediate technician level. Well, hands-on is the first thing I noticed when I hear you talking about that, because that's yeah. the only way you really have good retention. And We found that to be true. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And yeah, yeah. they just say, hey, do, is this something? And they, that's when they call, they say, is this hands-on or is this computer driven? We say, we don't have any computers. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. This is great. On. What a great, number one, great weather. Yeah. And this is such a tremendous event. And we always appreciate Brian and you guys for putting it on. Yeah. Awesome. Absolutely. Cool. Well, thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Bert. Yep. Haven's been around for 10 years doing indoor air quality. So anything to do with sensing, of chemicals, particulates, temperature, humidity, anything like that. These are really our people you. here. Yeah. We love yeah. this event. It's our favorite event. So. Yeah. Really glad yeah. you're here. Awesome. And uh, yeah. So this is what you're missing out on. You could meet Kevin Hart, the, the Canadian, uh, not the comedian, <laughs> as it is often said. This isn't HVAC controls, this isn't heating and cooling, this is ventilation, filtration, humidity control, that sort of thing. So that seems to be an underserved area. Inspiration for this talk was if more people literally knew how to wire these things. And, and at our company, we get a lot of customer support calls, people saying, how do I wire this, how do I wire that? This training needs to be out there. In North America, as of right now, unless you make your own out of something else, uh, it's the only active, uh, active flow hood or uh, powered flow hood. Those are interchangeable terms uh, that are on the market. If it's, you're familiar with how a duct tester or a blower door works, it's kind of that on a small scale. It's one of our favorite events. I yeah. mean, it's, it definitely stands out from the rest, so we're always uh, excited to be here. Yeah, so thank you so much for your support. Uh, none of this would be possible without you guys. So. Yeah, I traveled from the Netherlands, but I'm happy to do it. It's, yeah. it's, it's a great venue and a great, uh, great organization. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment.
Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, HVACRschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast, available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.